Hello, and welcome to our Off the Cuff series presented by Emerging Leader Society and Spokane County United Way. My name is Amanda Richards. Our Off the Cuff series sits down with Spokane's most prominent leaders and gets a glimpse into their life. Our special guest this month is Charlotte Nemec, President and CEO of Canopy Credit Union. Well, welcome, Charlotte. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate being asked. Yeah, thanks for taking your time. I guess I want to jump off and ask you the question, you know, what drew you to Spokane? Well, I actually have my mother to thank for that. She had moved here while I was in college. I was going to the University of Montana. I'm from Montana originally. Uh, she had moved here um, and for a summer, I moved here as well to join her so that I didn't have to pay rent in Missoula for uh, the summer. So I worked at the Coeur d'Alene Resort for a summer. Um, I just really felt like Spokane drew me in uh, right at that point. Uh, I decided, you know, I think I need to take a quarter off from school and maybe reassess my life. And I did that. And um, was really fortunate. I went to SCC for just a few quarters, got my AA degree quickly because of my transfer credits. Mm -hmm. And then I finished up out at Eastern Washington University with um, an economics degree. So wonderful. And I think we're seeing that a lot in Spokane. I think it's, you know, big enough to create your own adventure, but small enough to have that really heart and core of culture. For sure. I meet so many people from Montana that live here in Spokane now. I, I think we were drawn to the bigger city, but not the too big of a city. You know, yeah. It's really appealing that way. And I can speak of that too. Um, I'm, I'm an Idaho girl and I came all the way to Washington. So we click there. <laughs> yep. Yep. Those small towns coming here to make a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gives us the great place. I guess talking about your leadership, you know, what is the most impactful risk that you've taken in your life? Oh, well, maybe in my life, I might say <laughs> that actually quitting school and moving here was one major risk. But, you know, from a career perspective, um, I get asked a lot if I had these big grand plans of becoming the CEO of uh, the credit union. And to be honest with you, I didn't. I, I really was just trying to do the best job I could possibly do and make the best impact on our team, you know, really that was my, my main goal has always been how do we make sure that the team is happy and thriving. And my belief is if I make them happy and they thrive, then they'll make our ha members happy. And so HR was what I was doing. So I, I was just wanting to really excel at human resources. And the risk that came into play was the CEO at the time that I worked for, she retired a few years earlier than I anticipated. I just really thought I could probably coast out my career doing my HR work and um, she just surprised me and she uh, gave um, her notice and the risk came when I thought, okay, I, I think this is an opportunity for me but a scary, risky opportunity to leave something that I knew extremely well, mm -hmm. knew my job inside out. I felt very comfortable in that job um, and taking on the risk of becoming the CEO was quite frankly, super scary for me. I, I just, I had not sat down and really envisioned it for a long period of time. So that was a big risk. Yeah, and just today you said we can do hard things. And, you know, yeah. it's the, the bigger the risk, that's the bigger my mantra. reward. <laughs> yeah, that's my mantra. I can do hard things. Yeah, for uh, sure. So, and you've been at Canopy Credit Union how many how many years again? Oh, I've been there for twenty seven years. Oh my gosh, I just said that out loud. Um, <laughs> yeah, twenty seven years. So, um, it, it it's I've really grown up there. I've had that opportunity to really see the organization um, evolve and me evolve with it. And it's been an exciting opportunity to lead an organization that I've always felt had huge, huge potential. So it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, so it sounds like 27 years of risk, rewards, and even leadership. Yeah, it's, I think you even said it to me, Amanda, a while ago, you know, that you know, it's up and down and shifting of, you know, sometimes you're feeling really good and strong and everything's going great. And then, well, things like COVID hit, you know, or yeah. the economy falls out from underneath us, so, you know, like happened in 2008. And, you know, how do you ride those waves and still stay strong and keep your team 
moving forward and feeling positive and give back to your community and do all the things. And sometimes it's up and sometimes it's on a slow hill down or a fast <laughs> hill down. COVID feel felt like a very fast roller coaster ride for sure. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. You know, that, that roller coaster, we all ride together. Yes. And I think that it's a great segue into, you know, the next question, talking about this roller coaster, we're all riding together. Um, so it's, what's one piece of advice you'd share with future up and coming leaders? You know, it kind of goes back to that risk. Um, taking the risk to learn more, I think is the key, no matter what role you're in, you're always a leader. You either lead yourself, you lead a process, you lead others, but making sure that you always keep in mind that you're in control of yourself, your own behaviors, your own attitude, and you can influence a lot of people just by leading yourself really well. And so when people say, well, I'm not in a leadership role, I always say, you're always in a leadership role. Always challenge yourself to do more, ask for more, do the best job you possibly can when you're doing it. Make sure you own your mistakes and don't be afraid to say, I messed up. Mm -hmm. And here's what I've learned from it. And here's how we'll do it better in the future. Because I know all the leaders that I've ever worked around or with have always appreciated that level of accountability, honesty, integrity, all of that that goes with it because we all make mistakes. We're all human. And so when we give each other the grace to make those mistakes and learn from them, you know, I think that's the biggest um, risk you can take as an individual contributor is to make sure you ask for more and try new things. And if you fail, you know, learn from it and move forward. And every time you do that, you're taking a step closer to whatever goals you may have. And you may never have a goal of being leading people or leading an organization. That's okay too. But be the best you can be doing the job you're doing today. Um, and don't get so hung up on what's my next move? What's my next move? Who sh where should I get promoted to? Instead, just be really engaged in the job that you're doing or the role that you're playing within your organization. So preach. Yeah, <laughs> you should write a book. I remember listening to one of your other presentations and you said one of your advice to leaders and just up and coming, you know, folks in the community is as you take a new role, a new step in life is if you're going to fail, fail fast. Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly what you said. You know, learn from your mistakes, move on, take the time to reflect. And also, I think you also noted was um, leaders come in all shapes, forms, sizes, and you can lead within. You can lead up the chain, down the chain. And so I think that that's great. Yeah, I really have a strong belief that every person at the credit union, and we, we talk about this often, every person is a leader. Every person is, has uh, the ability to influence change. Um, creating an environment of psychological safety is um, high on my priority list because the only way we can get better as an organization and the only way we'll serve our members better and serve our community better is if we listen to one another because there are people that are way smarter than me that are serving the members day in and day out and they know what the member wants and needs and what processes are broken and all of that and so i just really believe that if i create an environment of psychological safety they will come forward and say hey this isn't working and this needs to change and how can we change it and I, I just love that kind of feedback. It really shows me you're engaged and you, you care about the organization, you care about your members and you care about your own personal integrity, so. Well said. I think the last question is, anything new and exciting you wanna share with us about Canopy Credit Union coming down the pike? Oh <laughs> gosh, um, you know, we've done so much in this last four years. I think I was telling you, Amanda, that first two years of being the CEO, we. You know, we changed our name, we opened two new branches, um, we, we did a lot of amazing things, but coming up, you know, we're really focusing on home ownership and affordable home ownership. And so mortgage opportunities for people that maybe think there's no way I would qualify for a mortgage is really helping people understand how they can qualify for a mortgage, helping them through that process, really being their partner in trying to work through those challenges that I think a lot of people think they're doomed to always rent. 
and we really want to be that partner with them to say, no, nope, let's look at the opportunities because we all know that um, owning real estate, being a homeowner creates generational wealth. And we really are interested in making sure that the citizens of Spokane have the opportunity to improve their lot in life, um, even if it's you're living on a disability check, for example, how do you make sure that you can live your best life even having that um, limited income? So, I love that. Thank you for sharing. And yeah. honestly, thank you for sitting down with me and taking the time. It's such a pleasure as always. Oh, it's a pleasure seeing you, Amanda. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks. Thank you for watching. This was our Off the Cuff series presented by Emerging Leaders Society and Spokane County United Way. The Emerging Leaders Society is a network of philanthropic young professionals supporting Spokane County United Way's vision through networking, volunteering, and professional development.